You ever have trouble buying the right gift for the aviation enthusiast in your life? Their birthday's coming up or Christmas is right around the corner and you want to get the perfect gift? This just might be it. This is a turbine engine kit from a company called Sterling and we're going to build it today on the channel. Hey guys, I'm Brian. Today we are going to be building a model of a turbofan engine. This company, Sterling, makes models of all different types of engines. Some are aircraft engines, some are car engines, uh, some actually burn fuel. Uh, I was pretty interested in this one. I'm a new airline pilot and part of the, I don't know, part of my job is walking around the airplane and making sure we haven't had bird strikes and whatever else um, before and after the flights. And one of the things I do is I inspect portions of the engine looking for different things that you would look for when pre-flighting a plane. So uh, we'll unbox it now and then I'm going to try to recruit my children to help. Um, but let's, let's see what's in the box and find out uh, what Sterling's got for us. All right, so let's open it up and see what we've got. All right, my first impression is that this is pretty solid. Um, I kind of thought there'd be like plastic, a lot of plastic, but it appears that um, all of this is metal. Everything appears to be, it's very rugged. These beat the heck out of any instructions I've ever seen in any furniture from Ikea. Um, this is great. I, I mean, we're going to dive in and build it, but uh, just from a, a cursory look, it looks like even if you didn't have text here, uh, you'd probably be able to follow this pretty easily and, uh, and assemble it. All right, so let me see if I can recruit my children. I've got two teenagers that uh, my daughter loves building all kinds of stuff, and my son uh, probably won't have any interest in this, but let me see if I can get them to help, and uh, we'll go through this as quick as possible and uh, see the finished working product. So uh, let, me, let me try to track down a couple of teenagers. When Sterling reached out to me, I was pretty excited. I'd come across their ads in the past and thought about pulling the trigger on one of these engines a couple of times, but I hesitated because I was unsure of the quality. I kind of kept hoping to see them in person at Sun and Fun or Air Venture to get hands-on with one of their models and assess the quality. They reached out to me and asked if I would make a video building this model, DM121, a 1 12th scale dual spool cutaway turbofan engine model. I recruited my daughter to help me build it, and our initial reaction is that the parts are very high quality metal parts. Everything needed to build this is included, even the tools. Just open the box and jump right into the project. Oh my goodness. The instructions are in both English and Chinese, so you pick which ones you want to read. I'll do the Chinese ones. So that didn't work. <laughs> yeah, let's... This does genuinely feel like really nice. Like it's very smooth. It's I. This looks like, like very well. This is a very well made kit. It like, is. I've seen them online, and I, I honestly thought they were like plastic. But all this is like legit. No kidding. The instructions appear to be in both Chinese and English, and they're very clear. They include precise graphics to go along with the text instructions, and they're pretty simple to follow. We started by building the base, which included the motherboard, rechargeable batteries, and all of the wiring. Once that was done, we moved on to the fan. The fan consists of a hub that my daughter is putting together here, and then we started inserting the fan blades that would rotate when this thing was completed. They feel so cold. I love that. Oh, this is so satisfying. I will tell you this. This is just like the real jet. The blades aren't like fixed in there. They do hang. They click in too. Oh, it's a satisfying click? The one you did wasn't as satisfying, but like this one might be. You oh, they do. They have, oh. You didn't fully click it in. You just like put well, your thumb in it. Oh, that's fun. And we got more over here. Some of them lay nice and flat, others don't. But oh, that's like so you cool. This one. Oh, you got it. It's like a tambourine. Turn here, so like. Oh, that's weird. You turn it. Oh, it's because of those gears. You're turning it one way and it turns the opposite direction. Yeah. How wild is that? All right. All right. So, Brooke, we have built probably a quarter of this thing. We got the base done. Yeah. And the light turns on right now, right? Yeah. Got a little LED light that comes on. And then we got this, which is part of the casing, I think. That's cool. What do you think? Honestly, so far, I think this is really cool. I do think this project is going to take a bit of time, but I honestly think that makes it way more fun because you're getting a lot more enjoyment of understanding building the process along with 
you know, getting to have the finished result. Yeah, I predicted, what did I say? You said two hours. Did I say two hours? I, my original prediction was this was about two hours worth of work. It's it's not cheap plastic snap together stuff. Everything bolts together and screws together. And so due to that, it's much higher quality, but it also adds some time. So this is probably going to be uh, an eight hour project for, with just the two of us. So uh, I'm, this is really cool, really cool. We're, like I said, we're quarter way through. Uh, I'm super impressed so far. The build quality is far better than I would have imagined. So uh, we are going to take a break and do our thing and go separate ways and tomorrow or whatever day I'm off and you're off, we'll get back at it. We'll get this thing knocked out. So, so far very impressed. Yeah, I think this is really cool. The first evening we got about 30% of the engine assembled. The second, our schedules fell out of alignment and my daughter told me to continue solo. Assembly is interesting in that you build each section as its own little project and then you assemble them at the end to form the final product. So this is the completed kit. Uh, just wanted to give you so you could see for reference about how big it is. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll go weigh it, but it's, I'm gonna guess it's about, that's probably eight-ish pounds. Uh, it's all solid, it's all metal construction. Uh, there are included some clear pieces of plastic across the front here. Um, I looked at a lot of the videos online and people didn't, didn't put those in there and I thought it was kind of cool to have it wide open. Um, and then I don't gotta worry about trying to you know, keep the plastic clean or whatever. And then in the event that I need to put drops of oil in here from time to time, um, I have that option to do so. But it is pretty cool. Um, so there it is working. And it's interesting, I guess I should probably know this, but um, some pieces of it spin one way and some pieces of it spin the other way. And I thought the engineering behind that was pretty interesting. And you gotta put all the gears in there to make it do that. There are throttles here where you can slow down and speed up. But really, we're pilots. We want full throttle all the time. So anyway, there it is. This is the turbine engine kit from Sterling. Uh, I'll leave a um, coupon code in the in the description. It's JPS, uh, so you can get a discount. Uh, all in all, pretty cool. I've seen these before, and I wasn't sure about it. Uh, now I'm sure about it. This is pretty neat. I will probably end up uh, picking up some more along the way because this is kind of cool, and it's going to look cool sitting on a shelf. Anyway, thanks for watching. You guys uh, fly smart, and I'll catch you in the next one. Click this link to see the most recent video upload. Click this link to see a video that YouTube thinks you might like. Click this link to subscribe to my channel.